Hello, welcome back to another week of Vineyard Kids and Youth Online. Now today's game is brought to you by the Lions family. Today we're doing the cereal box challenge. The cereal box challenge is where you have a cereal box like this one. And what you have to try and do is pick the cereal box up with your mouth. But there's a catch. You can't put your knees or your hands or any other part of your body on the floor except your feet and in each round we have to cut the box smaller and smaller until we can't pick it up with our mouth. First round. <laughs> Yay! Round two. something in the last one so I'm gonna admit defeat. Round six. <laughs> it's basically on the floor. Yeah, well that's a challenge. Ah <laughs> you can bat your forehead on the floor. Yeah. That's not allowed. <laughs> Yeah. 
Brilliant, thank you so much Lions family. We hope you had fun doing that activity as well. Now, today is our final one in our Notes from Jesus series, which we have absolutely loved doing. So these are all just some things that we've been sharing from Jesus's perspective. So today our last one is that Jesus says, I want you to know that you'll hear from me in lots of different ways. Friends stay in touch in lots of ways. Friends may call you, text you, show up at your door, send an email, lots of things. And he, Jesus says, I'm like that too. I come see you in lots of ways. You may hear from me in a thought that maybe just turns you in a different direction. It may be in a wise word from someone at church, or it might be something your parent says, or it might be something a friend says. Or Jesus may reach out to you from pages of the Bible, because the Bible is his story, it's his true story, and it's how we get to know him. So that's an amazing way to hear from Jesus. So today we thought it would be great to give Jesus a little bit of space to come and speak to us. We do a lot of talking, which is amazing. Jesus loves to hear from us, but he also loves to speak to us too. So let's give him some space. Let's give him a chance for us to listen to what he might want to say to us. So in a moment, we're going to put just some light music on in the background and we just invite you to find somewhere comfortable to sit or to lie down. Maybe shut your eyes so you're not distracted by what else is going on in the room and just focus on Jesus and give him some space. And it might be that just a thought might pop into your head. You might think of something and you might think, do you know what, I think that's Jesus saying that to me. It might be that you maybe have a memory of something. It might be that you get a feeling. You might just feel something inside, like, you know, feel warm, you feel loved. It might be um, that maybe you, you remember something from the Bible. It might be you remember a line from a song or something from a movie. It could be anything. Just see what comes into your mind. Um, and then just and then just test it. If you're not sure if it's Jesus, why not share it with one of the grown-ups in the room with you? And then see, just test it out, see. If it's encouraging, if it's loving, it may well be from Jesus. So give it a go now. Let's spend some time. Give Jesus some time. And we say, Jesus, will you come and speak to us now as we wait for you?
Okay, let's bring that back together. Now, for some of us, that would have been amazing. God would have said something. Maybe you feel really encouraged. Maybe he's like giving you something really amazing. He spoke to you. For some of us, it might be like, oh, I didn't hear anything. I was just kind of lying down and nearly fell asleep. And it does take practice. This takes a while to get used to kind of hearing from God. So don't worry if you didn't hear anything or you didn't feel like you had anything. God was with you and he loves you. So just keep practicing. And this is actually our last and final uh, Vineyard Kids and Youth Online and we have loved doing this with you guys so we hope that you've enjoyed it as well um, and so thank you for joining us. Yeah, it's been amazing, thank you. And we'll see you another time. <laughs> Bye. Bye.